Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another lesson from the Cloud Practitioner Express. And in this lesson, we're going to start a new section, which is the AWS networking. And we're going to start with the first service, which is Amazon VPC. So in order for us to explain what exactly is Amazon VPC in a very simplified way, let's understand first the concept. As we explained from the previous lessons, we explained that AWS provides the infrastructure and then we have thousands or even millions of customers and organizations sharing from this infrastructure. Now, the question is, how can every organization host their virtual resources in a way that can be completely isolated from the second organization? And here comes the concept of VPC, or in very simple terms, this is a virtual private cloud. And if you want to explain it, what is exactly VPC? Think about it. This is like a virtual data center. This is where I'll be hosting my virtual services inside this virtual data center. And then inside the VPC, I can host my resources either inside something called a public subnet or something called a private subnet. So what exactly is the difference? Let's explain. So I can have some resources inside my public subnet or inside my private subnet. And then the key word here is a public subnet. And from the name, we can understand this means now I want to give access for clients directly from the Internet. But private subnets mean these are some resources where I want to protect them. And that's why I'm putting these resources in a completely private subnet. So let's take the example. If I have a user and this user wants to access my application, for example, so from his client, either his mobile application or a web browser, they will try to access my resources through the internet. And then as a client, they can access directly my public subnet because this is where I have resources like, for example, my web servers. So I'm allowing clients coming from the Internet to land on these web servers. But then in order for me to protect resources like maybe my database, I don't want to allow clients coming from the outside to access directly something like my database. So what happens here now? This user will land on the web server inside my public subnet. And then the web server is sending an internal communication within my VPC to the database. Now the database is replying back to the information or to the uh, data that I need. And then I respond back to this client. And that's the concept of public subnet and private subnet. Now, in the next example, let's do a bit of zoom in inside this public subnet to understand how the public subnet will get access to the Internet. So let's think about this case here. Now, I have my resources inside my public subnet. The question, how can these resources access the Internet or how can I have my clients accessing resources inside this public subnet and here comes the concept of an Internet gateway. And in order for you to understand the Internet gateway, think about this question. How do you have Internet inside your home? So inside your home, you have something like a DSL gateway or a DSL router at your home. And this DSL is what connects your home to the Internet. That's exactly the same concept here. So this Internet gateway, you can think about it as the router or the modem that you have at your home to connect to the Internet. That's exactly the same case. The Internet gateway, this is like the virtual router that will connect my public subnet to the Internet. Another analogy, you can think about it as the door into your data center or into 
your public subnet. So I have a user and this user in order to connect through the internet to my public subnet, this request will go to the entry point and this entry point is the internet gateway. And then next I access my public resources inside my public subnet. And with this, we have come to the end of this lesson. And that's the first lesson in AWS networking. We explained very important concepts, VPCs, public subnet, private subnet and internet gateway. I hope the concept is clear. If you have any questions, please put your questions in, uh, in the feedback or in the comments. And we're very happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you so much and see you in the next lesson.